Hey all, so I wanted to do a quick little video of my bookshelf. So, you can see I've got a whole bunch of books here including a calendar from like 2017-ish. It's Doctor Who. Uh, lovely Canadian friend Natalie gave that to me. I haven't done it yet but you know I'm gonna look through it. Uh, one of the Doctor Who coloring books I've got. As you can tell, I'm a big Doctor Who fan. I've got books along here, if I can maybe get in and show you some of the titles. Though it's not going to show up, down it. So, I've got <laughs> on my wild list of books, there's the Doctor Who one, of course. Big Doctor Who fan, if you hadn't already noticed that. Uh, there's some of them. And I've got more books here. You can kind of go down my shelf slowly. Yeah, I've got quite a few on this shelf. I'm running out of room on this tiny little shelf. And I've got like uh, Terry Pratchett. What else do I have on here? There's some um, James Patterson. For those of you into romance, I suggest Eagle's Destiny by CJ Corbin. Uh, Corbin, I should say. A uh, really awesome writer. Lovely lady, lovely lady as well. Uh, I've got a bit of Harry Potter. <laughs> uh, Demon Road was a great little uh, trilogy. That was actually really interesting for teen fiction if you're into that sort of like horror teen. Uh, what else do I have on here? Oh. I guess more of those uh, sort of Terry Pratchett's all in sort of series order. Ready Player One, which was a pretty good book. One of my favourite uh, Aussie authors is uh, first book Nevermore. The, tri the Trials of Morrick and Crow. The second book comes out, I want to say, end of the month. It's a really, really good um, young adult series if you're into that sort of thing. And I will show you the other one of my other bookshelves. Okay, more of my bookshelves. There are more books in some of those boxes that are back there. Some more boxes in the back tub. Uh, I've got all sorts of things on this shelf. These uh this is a Simpsons puzzle that I haven't quite finished yet. I kind of started, then moved, then just kind of stuck there and wrapping. Uh, I've got the uh, Aragon series by Christopher Paolini. They've kind of survived traveling Canada and such, and I got uh, Inheritance Signed by Christopher. He's a lovely guy. Uh, some of those... <laughs> More books there, and this mass pile of books here. A little bit of light reading. More books. You can tell my love is sort of massive. There's more. There are some of the politically incorrect Agatha Christie books. I love collecting those. They're always interesting. Got a few DVDs and PC and PS PS3 and PS2 and such and that. Up there. More Doctor Who. Yeah, I'm very much a fan. Kill a very cool Village of the Fringed Cup that glows in the dark. Pick that up from the uh, Edmonton Fringe Festival. If you happen to go to Edmonton, Alberta, go check out the Fringe Festival if it's on. Some of my CDs. Some more random DVDs and books and everything kind of mixed in. I kind of have way too much on these shelves, but you know, it's me. Serial book order. I don't really like getting rid of my books. And then, more books here in the kitchen. <laughs> I kind of run out of room everywhere else, so these kind of books are stuck here, and uh, I just kind of do stick them where I can because I'm kind of. Out of room, and well, for those of you curious, uh, the uh, I've that's the reason why I'm doing this video is that I've had a number of people ask me what's on my bookshelves, what do I need, what do I want, 
what books can they buy me for Christmas, for my birthday, for whatever reason, and unfortunately, I either have them, or I've read them. Back to the set of shelving. Uh, but it's just a case of, I'm doing, I, partly because people have asked me what books I have and what I own and what I read and everything like that, but also I'm currently doing a Secret Santa thing, and the poor person that has me, since I happen to have the, as some would say, unfortunate task of being admin, but it's kind of fun. It's a fun little thing. Uh, the poor, anyway, the poor person who has me has noticed how much of a book reader I am, and, well, this may give them an idea of as to what I collect and what sort of books I have, because uh, I do have a few signed copies of various books. So I've had the pleasure of meeting some authors over the years, uh, just because I can. Something it's it's unique. It's a new, unique experience to meet the author of a book you've loved reading. So I hope that to anyone out there who is trying to sort of do something for your friends. <laughs> who happen to be a voracious reader like myself, and for those that don't quite understand uh, voracious, I average 30 books a month. So that kind of gives you an idea as to how much I read. Anyway, I will see you next time for another round of whatever comes up. Till then, bye!